just wanted to take a bit of footage from another angle to show you uh, the trees and stuff which are in the way. You can see the turbine there. So there are issues with the trees blocking the wind uh, and maybe eventually the only option is to go a bit higher. Yo, here's just a quick look at what the wind's doing. That's today, tomorrow. I've sussed it out on the BBC. If it says moderate breeze, we should get some action. So that's tomorrow. Uh, Monday, should get some action hopefully. In that. If it says gentle breeze or light winds, there isn't usually any power. Uh, Tuesday, uh, pretty slow again. Uh, Wednesday, should definitely get some wind there. 14, 15 mile an hour. Thursday, whoa. It's Thursday, so from six o'clock in the morning. Uh, there should definitely be juice all day, Thursday. And Friday, yeah, there should be some juice Friday. Sweet, but Thursday. Just to let you know, I've got this plugged in and I'll unplug the, on Thursday with the super wind, I'll unplug this and I'll plug the rectifier back in because this will bottle out at about 600 watts. Uh, this obviously can either be used at 12 volts or 24 volts. It uh, automatically uh, configures itself and that basically meant disconnecting the cables from the rectifier, which are here and here, and sending them through this controller. I uh, drilled some holes in the board so the cables could go out the back. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I've got this bit of reflective aluminium, which should hopefully exaggerate the light from the uh, break and the charge, which you'll be able to see in the video, hopefully, because it'll be like that. Uh, they go uh, to the batteries. I just use jump leads. I've just got one battery connected at the minute. Uh, but if I'm keeping it on 12 volts, we'll try and get all three wired up. There's something going on with this one. Yeah, something going on with that one. Uh, this still appears, the inverter still appears to work. And if it's mega windy, then we'll set the batteries up at 24 volts, plug this in uh, via the rectifier, and then we'll just have two 400 watt lights plugged in here, and that'll suck all the juice out of the turbine but not sure how well it's going to run. It's definitely going to run like hell on the Thursday. Uh, the wind's saying about nine to 10 mile an hour now. So we'll just have to wait and see. But the plan is to get a uh, the, the live stream going, obviously, which I have two cameras for and everything. So once it starts turning, I'll be doing that. But feel free to uh, let me know any comments that we should get some power before Thursday because if there's a genuine 13 stroke 14 mile an hour wind and it's not working then there's obviously some kind of problem wondering if maybe that motor is just too hard to turn and you'd in fact maybe need uh six foot blades for it so anyway that's uh that's what's going on uh pray for wind and uh, i'll get a live stream going if the wind arrives cheers i'll also oh it's not plugged in at the moment but you may see that in the video if you do, uh, that's just going to go right there next to the meter and stuff, and that will give an idea of how much power is in the batteries, although we'll already know. That inverter is 24 volts, so it wouldn't work at the moment even if I plugged it in. But yeah, this thing does have its uses, because what I'm thinking is I'm running out of batteries, and I don't want to get to the coldest part of winter and not be able to run that thing. So I'm thinking maybe it might be best to run it as a 12 volt and use these three working batteries that we've got and that will kind of look after the batteries better than uh, just leaving them. So anyway, that's a bit of waffle. And uh, if she starts spinning, we'll get a live stream on the go. So if I don't speak to you, have a great weekend. Bye.